Hi everyone, my name is Novak, I am DJ and music producer and I got scammed really bad uh, in Tunisia by club promoter and event organizer and I currently still in Tunisia, I don't have return flight from the promoter, they disappeared right now but let me tell you the whole story from the start so you understand what's going on. Sorry for my English, it's not my native language so I will try to explain as, as best as I can. And please watch this video till the end because it's it's getting worse every minute and please share it as maximum as possible so nobody get trapped like me in the future. So recently I got booked in the Tunisia by event called Eden Fest. The organizer name is uh, Valid Zgwanda and Adam Mars. I landed to the country two days ago and uh, we supposed to go to the hotel that we approved. The first we went to the different hotel and I asked this guy, the valid, what's going on? Why this hotel is different? We didn't talk about this hotel and he said, this is surprise. I said to him, what is this surprise? Why we can't just go to the hotel that we agreed? And he said, okay, you can go to this hotel. I said, okay, let's go to this hotel. And we went to the hotel that we approved. I was like, what's going on? Why we didn't go to the first hotel that we approved? But trust me, this was nothing compared to what happened after. And you, you can say that we already should uh, cancel the show at this point. But try to understand me, I already spent 24 hours to get on the flight to Tunisia. I have so much messages from people in Tunisia who's waiting for me to play for them. We already have 50% uh, of the payment and sometimes I understand some problems with the organization, that's okay. And I was ready to play even after these situations that I have with the hotel, with the payments, just because people are waiting me. So in the next day I should play it on their event, but after 10 p.m everything became even worse. So I tried to reach this guy, Valid, like, what's going on? Where's the transfer to the venue? And he ignored me. I was like, what's going on? How, how should I play if I don't have any information about transfer, about event in general? And at the same time, one of the DJs who also on the lineup on this event texted me on Instagram and he said, something going on, the police came to the event. I'm like, what's going on? And he said, these two guys, Valid and Adam, got arrested by police. I don't know why. I'm like, I'm alone in different country. The event probably canceled because the police arrested the organization. And at this moment, I called one of the DJ who also was on the event, on the lineup, he was on the venue. And I asked, what's going on? What happened? And he said, these guys didn't pay to any DJs. They didn't pay even the crew that uh, got sound system to the venue. They didn't pay to anybody. I was like, how does it possible? And at this moment, I decided to check again my return flight because something going on. Maybe I don't have even return flight. And I checked it through the system of Turkish Airlines and it says the ticket was reserved, not paid. And at this moment, I realized I don't have even return flight and these guys disappeared because some problem with police going on. So I called immediately the guy, the Adam Mars, the second uh, promoter, and he said, oh, that's bad. No, we paid for everything. I will check in 30 minutes. And guys, this was already 3 or 4 a.m. I was super, super tired. The show canceled 100%. And these guys, after 30 minutes, just disappeared. I called him 10 times, I was super tired. And in the morning I texted to Tunisian DJ who also was playing on the same event. His name is Malik Mhedi. Sorry if I spell it wrong, but... No, I just called right now the, the travel agency and they told me he just take a one-way flight. What the fuck is this? He just took a one-way flight. He said to me, no worries, I will uh, go to the, your hotel. We manage everything and... It, he will get me to the nearest hotel to the airport. So I went to the checkout at the hotel and the guys on checkout tell me they didn't pay for anything in this hotel. For three days, they didn't pay any. I was like, how you can even book the three days without payment? This is the first problem. But the second problem, these guys disappeared. So I have to pay for that. And the hotel manager didn't let me go before I paid for that. I tried to tell them the story that I'm the guest here. I don't understand anything. They need to pay the organizer. And they said, okay, but where is the organization? I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to call them. I showed them that I called them like 10 times, both of them and nothing. So I paid by myself everything, like three nights in this hotel. So I'm paying right now 160 euros. Oh. 
It's approved. Approved? Yes. Okay, it's paid. And we went to the hotel nearest to the airport with Malik Mehdi. Super respect to the guy. He helped me a lot. Thank you so much for that. So right now we are trying to book the new flight uh, from Tunisia and uh, I see it's only one flight tomorrow. I hope we will buy it. Yeah, and uh, please share this story with everybody so nobody gets scammed in future by these guys and other guys probably. Yeah, take care.